What's up everyone? It is your girl Gwen and today I am going to show you a Walmart haul. Uh, I got some stuff and some things. You know when you go to Walmart, you walk it out of there. Spending a great deal more than you thought you were. Um, some of it's fun, some of it's not so fun, but I'm just going to show you the variety of ish I bought from that place. Because um, we go to Walmart maybe once a month to stock up on some things. You guys know I love the Dollar Tree and I do buy a lot of like shampoos and stuff like that from there. Uh, but that's kind of like in between me going to Walmart because it is, in my opinion, a better deal because you can get like more choice of name brands and whatnot um, for a lower price. Um, obviously not a dollar, but it stretches. So uh, I do in this haul have some shampoo and like home essential things that we needed so I'm just going to show them. I'm going to start off with the boring stuff first. First things first, we got a big old thing of bounty. We need paper towels. Um, six of uh, these triple rolls or whatever. Make 18. I buy one of these it lasts me like, meh, like two months, okay? Like, I, I won't buy paper towels from the dollar store. It's not worth it in my opinion. I mean, I have in a pinch but it's not really Time out. Sorry about that, kids. There goes the interruption, and I just got started. So, they're running on time. <laughs> anyway, so, yes, I got the paper towels. I find that to be a better deal at um, Walmart. I think it was $12 to $14, but, again, that'll last me a really long time. Uh, we got, uh, hubby got Dove Men Care Clean Fub uh, Clean Comfort Body and Face Wash. Um, he needed more body wash. As did I, which is in here somewhere. He always gets these Dove for Men um, body washes. He likes those. And the shampoo. But I don't think he needed that. Or did he buy a different one? I don't know. We'll get into it. Uh, I got a new uh, ginormous thing of hand soap refill. I have my own little hand soap pub. I refill it. This was only $3. I do get the one, the Apple one, from the dollar store. And that's a good deal because it's a dollar. But the bottle is... Refill bottle is a pretty decent size, but this is way bigger and this is only like $3 and some change. And the scent is mango and coconut water and it smells divine. I've actually never seen this scent before. And um, I think it's going to be my new favorite. And the color matches my bathroom, sort of. Because I'm weird like that. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, sponges. I need sponges. I usually get those from the dollar store. This is actually a better deal, though, because it was two something, and you get four. And then at the, uh, well, I guess it's the same, if you think about it, because at the dollar store, they're packaged in twos for a dollar. Whatever. I got sponges. Uh, I got the Gillette Daisy 2 Razor 18 pack. This is like 10 to $12, something like that. Um... And I don't get fancy razors. Razors are razors. It's razors. So, there you go. Um, I got myself some more of the Airwick Apple Cinnamon um, plug-in things. I use these in the bathroom. Um, I don't find that you can smell them anywhere else, really, if the room's not small. So I get these for the bathroom. They work perfectly because, you know, your girl does not like her bathroom or anywhere in my house to smell. You know, it's just not my thing. Everything must smell lovely. So I got candles, wax melts, the whole shebang. Um, these were kind of fun. I mean, if you're into fishing. Hubby got some Eagle Claw Heavy du Duty Wire Leaders. Um, and two new um, lures. They're called the Stinger Stingray Super UV Glow in the Dark. Made in the U.S. It says it's for Atlantics, Browns, Coho, Kings, Lake Trout, Steelhead, Pike, Walleyes, Strippers, Stripers, Strippers, <laughs> whatever. Um, and anyway, him and my daughter, and possibly my son, my oldest, I don't know, they might go, I think Saturday, because it's uh, salmon fishing season at the lakefront, so people go and fish, like, at night, because um, it's salmon season. Um, I, unfortunately, will not be going. Saturday because I have to be at work at four on Sunday so sadly I cannot go I have been it's fun but this year I'm not going at least not this trip but yeah I think they're all going this Saturday 
which me and the little ones will stay home. We'll probably just watch like a sort of, you know, Halloween movie, like Katie Halloween movie, and chill out and just go to bed early, which is fine. Oh, I got some deodorant. I got the Suave, Sweet Pea, and Violet. This stuff is the bomb. It's super cheap, and it works. I mean, it's just, it smells delicious. This is the kind of deodorant, too, like you put on, and you, like, you wear your clothes, and you throw them in the hamper, and then when you're doing laundry and you're pulling it out of the hamper, you can, like, smell it still on your clothes. Um, I did buy a two-pack of these. Uh, I gave one to my daughter already, because, I mean, why not buy a two-pack? You need more. I need more. So, there you go. Hubby also got the Old Spice Dragon Blast. We've not actually seen this one. It smells good, though. This smells real good. I like this. Um, we, he likes these a lot. I like them a lot. You know, I'm the one who has to smell them. <laughs> so, he gets, like, what is it? The Bear Glove and the Wolf Thorn. Those are the two he usually gets, but we've just seen this one for the first time, and I like it. So, he got it. Oh, he, yeah, he got himself more shampoo. He got Head and Shoulders, Green Apple, two-in-one. Yeah, sometimes he gets this, sometimes he gets the Dove, depending. Um, it's Head and Shoulders. Not that he has, like, a huge dandruff problem or anything. I know he says he just really likes the Green Apple. Um, is this the cooling one? I know he's gotten some of these, too, that's supposed to be, like, cooling on his head. Um, but anyway, I got some St. Ives Apricot Scrub. This is an essential in our house. Me and hubby love this. We like to exfoliate the face and um, we were out. So we got some more. And uh, St. Ives. Don't even try to get any sort of um, non-name brand. We've tried them all. We've tried the Walmart Equate version. We've tried the Target version. We've tried every single knockoff St. Ives apricot scrub there is. And they all suck. So... Throw in the extra dollars, get yourself the St. Ives. Don't even try to substitute because it will not work. Um, I got me and my daughter because me and my daughter share the body wash, um, girl, boys, you know. So we got the St. Ives Softening Coconut and Orchid Body Wash. I've actually not gotten the St. Ives body wash before, um, but I did recently go to Walgreens and get their lotion in this scent, which I loved. And another one, I can't remember what that scent is, because um, it was buy one, get one 50% off, and this was like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So I had the matching lotion, so I figured, screw it, pick up the body wash, you know, match them up, maybe it'll even smell better. And then, the whole reason I needed to go Walmart anyways, because we needed more shampoo, I was almost out. Um, ginormous bottles, they're like seven and some change a piece. I love the herbal essences. The last one we got was the strawberry and mint. Um, like the, like organic, well obviously it's always organic because herbal essence, but it's like from their newer line. And we got the strawberry mint one and I loved it. It smelled really good. But um, honestly, this and the pink rose hips one, these are like the best shampoos. Not just how they make my hair feel and whatnot. They just smell so good and in my opinion it is like the number one shampoo that once you sh wash your hair in it you will smell it like three days later still in your hair it's potent it stays stinking good i can't say enough good things about this so um i would have gotten honestly i really like the rose hips one the pink one better than this one they're both great um but they didn't have the pink one in the shampoo this size. They only had it um, in the conditioner. So I was like, screw it. I'll just get this one this time. It doesn't really matter in the end. And they're both going to do the same thing. Um, so we got Dant Dant and all this stuff. Oh, guys. So we checked. Obviously, we always go to... Um, this is the Walmart, too. that has got the lock case. So there's really never anything good there. But we always check it out anyway just to see what's behind, you know, the pop case. Because yes, they lock the freaking pops at this Walmart. Um, and I could not believe that I saw these because you all know how hard it was for me and hubby to find it, but they restocked in case you didn't get it the first time and you're still looking for them. Um, they got the Venomized Ghost Riders back. There was like five of them in the case. We bought two. For tradesies, or because you know I already have one, the hunt for that one. 
um, that did prove fruitful in the end. Um, we did get two in case somebody wanted to trade these or if anybody honestly just even needed one, just let me know. Message me on the um, gram, you know, um, and we'd be happy to trade or even just give it to you at this point. They're, they're $8, it's not a big deal, but um, yeah, we couldn't believe that we saw these again. So, but you know, check your Walmart too, they might have them. I did not even know that they were going to be restocking the Venomized Ghost Rider. Um, but those are the only two pops we got. What else? Oh, I got some candles. I can never not go to Walmart and not get candles. I cannot ever go to any store and not get a candle. Okay, it's not a secret. I do not like my house to smell. Like, not even a little bit. And I'm the type too. like, I try to keep my house clean as possible. But if there's just like a week that's been too busy <laughs> and the housework isn't, you know, completely done. If your house at least smells good and smells clean, then, you know, you have the illusion <laughs> that it's tidy. So, I went to Walmart and had to go to the candle section, as per usual. And I got two fall-ish scents because, yes, I do try to burn seasonal candles, you know? So, like pine and like cranberry around Christmas, apple and pumpkin spices around fall, um, gardenias and like lilac-y ones in the spring, yada yada yada. So I bought two fallish candles. We got apple pumpkin, which smells just like it says, like apple pumpkin, slight cinnamon, divine and these candles these ones the three wick jars at walmart are 333 you can't beat that so and they do have a pretty good some some have a pretty good throw it depends honestly i found on a candle to candle scent to scent basis you know what i mean some can you can open up and be like wow that smells great but then when you burn it it really doesn't do anything i have bought this one before and it has a pretty good throw makes your house smell good no complaints Apple pumpkin, three thirty-three, can't beat it. Uh, and then the other one is pumpkin spice. It's got a little picture of a pumpkin pie on it. And this one, mmm, this one, mmm, I mean, that one's good. This one is, this one good. Um, I don't know what the throw is the throw is on this one. I have not burned it. Um, in case people don't know what candle jargon I'm talking about. Candle enthusiasts know there's a cold sniff, right? Where it's not burned, you smell it, and you're like, that smells good. It smells good on a cold sniff. And then when you light it, there's called, it's called the throw, like how potent it is, how well you can smell it. And um, again, I don't know what the throw is on this one because I have not burned it. Um, but it smells on a cold sniff. Delicioso. Makes me want to have like pumpkin pie and apple cider. It's just divine <clears throat> so there's a little candle knowledge for anybody who didn't know that all right and we're gonna end the haul on some oh no no wait first this let me throw, show this so well, we got the two little ones because we did get a shirt a piece for the two older ones for my daughter and my son but the two younger ones we got them they didn't need any clothes so it was not a big thing but we saw this and we just knew they had to have it because they love halloween well, that's gonna blind you a little um it's one of those things that, you know, light, and it's got, like, hold on, hold on, see if I can turn this, if you can see better, if I turn it off. Um, it's got little, like, cutouts of uh, bats and jack-o'-lanterns and, like, a tree with a, I think it's an owl, right? Yeah. And then when you turn it on, you're not going to be able to see it that well right now. You could see it on the wall. So when it, um you know, like a dim, dimly lit room, dark room. It just looks super cool. We gave it to them already last night. They loved it. They just sat there for hours, like watching it spin around the ceiling. And they were super happy to receive that because especially my five-year-old, like all my kids enjoy Halloween a little bit, like well, a lot of it really, but like my five-year-old, the second it's pumpkin season, like he sees a pumpkin in a store, he has to have it. Which, if you haven't been to Jewel lately, guys, um, Jewel has a pretty good deal on pumpkins. They have, like, little ones for, like, 88 cents. Like, what are those called? Jackby Littles? Is that what they're called? The little ones? Correct me if I'm wrong or you even know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, I think they're called Jappy Littles. Freaking, he needs them. He, he is all about pumpkins and Halloween and Nightmare Before Christmas. And he is my most biggest Halloween enthusiast. And it makes me so proud. <laughs> you have no idea. All right. Anyway, we're going to get into some other stuff, some clothes real quick. I didn't get too, too much. Um, here's the shirt we got for my daughter. It's got a rainbow and an alien, and it says, Nobody freaking cares. <laughs> um, my daughter loves rainbows. You know, she likes aliens. Honestly, we got it too, though, because she was literally, like, watching all day um, live streams and TikToks of people who were at the Area 51 shit dig that was going on. So, um, when we went to Walmart, we were like, yeah, okay, she needs this in her life. And, uh, I just thought it was hilarious. Nobody freaking cares. That was a Chicago movie. Did you hear that? Nobody freaking cares. And then we got our son, this Deadpool shirt. Um, it says, I'm sorry, did I offend you? <laughs> uh, adorable. Love, we love Deadpool in this house. Um, it's not a secret, even down to my littlest ones. Um, my five-year-old was even Deadpool last year for Halloween. Was it last year or the year before that? I don't remember. But anyway, I'm sorry that I offend you. It's great. And if you knew my son, that saying is like perfect for him. Um, I got another flannel for work. Um, this one's got a hood. Super cute. It's got a hood and little drawstrings like in the front and um, got the little roll up sleeves with the um, you know cuff button where it like cuffs right here but it also has that detail on the bottom on the side where it's got the little like thing and then a button I love this one I love it it's a lot I like to wear flannels for well it's not a secret that I like flannels anyway, guys. I literally have like six of them. I have a black and gray one. I have a blue and white one. I have, this will be my third red and somewhat color because y'all know I gotta wear red for work. Um, but I do like to wear flannels for work too just because um, like in the morning before we like open open and I'm there because again you guys know I start at like 4 4 30 depending and nobody's there so we can really pretty much wear whatever we want so I'll like take these off when I'm super hot um throwing product on the shelf and whatnot so I love me a good flannel this was only I don't want to say pretty cheap it was Walmart $14.96 and um I love it Sweet new uh, flannel for work, and I'll probably watch it today and wear it Sunday, because Sunday is when I go back. Um, oh, I got a pair of jeans, because I'm going to need a jeans. Um, they're about a medium wash. Let me put that. They are the Signature Levi Strauss Simply Stretch in the Modern Slim. And I got it in a 14L. Your girl's like a true 14, 16, depending on brands. Like, you know, I'm thicker than a snicker. But uh, I did get the 14 longs. Not that I'm super tall. I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, something like that. I don't really know. It's been a hot minute since I've measured myself. But somewhere around that length. But I did get the 14 longs because I do like a good long pant. Um... They are straight legs. They make the booty look good, which, let's face it, ladies, that's the only thing required in a pair of jeans, really, right? Does the booty look good? Oh, and do they fit? So, these were only, I think, this one's not going to have a price tag, but I think they were like 19, 16 or 19, something right around there. Um, and they're Levi's, so you can't beat that. And I like, too, the pocket is not, I don't like... A crap ton of things on my butt pocket. I just don't. Like, give me something like this or nothing at all. I don't need, like, bedazzled and whatnot. Some pretty plain Jane when it comes to that stuff. So, again, 19 16 to $19. Can't remember specifically, and I don't know where the freaking receipt is. But those looked great. And the booty, the booty was enjoying it. 
Um, okay, and then I got these little pair of shorts, a little pair of booty shorts. I love to sleep in booty shorts. Man, you love to see me in a pair of booty shorts. At home, nine out of ten times I'm wearing this pair of little black or gray. Just booty shorts. This one's got Jack and Sally right there. Little Jack and Sally. And it says, what is it? Jack Skeleton and Sally. Oh, and it's like stitched to like how Sally is. You know, it's going to be completely backwards. We're not fancy here. We all know this. But these were only $8.76. I had to have them. Oh, and they're super soft. Like, I don't know what this is. Probably some sort of acrylic or like something. 95% uh, polyester, 5% spandex, but 100% soft as a baby's ass. I love it. Um, and I can't wait for these to be on my ass. So, yes, $9, new pair of booty shorts for bed. Love it. Um, and then I got these pajama pants, which are Jack Skellington. They got Sally, Jack. They got the um, lock, stock, and... Lock Shock and Barrel faces on it and Oogie Boogie like tombstones. They got the whole the whole team from Nightmare Before Christmas on them. Um, the bottoms do they do or they're elastic like you know tight on the ankle. They're made of the same material as those booty shorts. Super soft. Probably says the same thing too. Yeah, ninety five percent polyester, five percent spandex. Um, these were $14.76, and your girl just needed a new pair of some nice pajama pants. Um, they did have, like, mix and match shirts for both of these. Personally, I either sleep in a sports bra or, like, a, I call them white beaters. Some people will probably be offended by that. That's just what my family has called them since forever. Um, I'll probably just wear them with, like, a white beater. And, then, and if you know me in real life, too, you know that this pair of pajama pants will be worn outside at some point because I do not care. I will rock a pair of pajama pants out in the real world any day of the week and I have no shame. None. Um, so, double duty. Pajama pants and regular um, going to sleep pants or regular going outside pants because, again, I don't give a shit. Um, that's it though, guys. That's all I got at Walmart. You know, again, some of it was fun, some of it was not so fun. Again, let me know if you were interested in trading or maybe even, um, you know, if you just needed this. Let me know. Hook a sister, or let a sister know and I will maybe hook you up. Um, also, again, check your Walmart. You might have them. Like I said, there was about five of these guys. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the heck? Because, y'all know, I was looking like... I was looking like nobody business for this Venomized Ghost Rider because we have like almost, well, we, not almost all Venomized, but we collect them. So, yeah, now. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, you know the deal. Thumbs it up. If you'd like to see more like it in the future, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces!